Hey guys, welcome to the search course as we are going to help you to get set free from porn because friends, it's time that we stop searching and we start living. How did I get into the porn industry? Why did I say yes? destroying my life. I was battling with drug addiction and suicidal thoughts on a daily basis. You are going to start to break the shame off of your life. We are here to help people stop searching and to start living and walking in purity and freedom. So I pray as you dive into these lessons that God is going to minister and speak to you in a mighty way. I know that if you will apply these teachings to your life, you will get set free from porn so that you can stop searching and you can start living. Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to the Let's Talk Purity podcast with Brittany and Richard Delamora. Uh, this podcast is brought to you by edify.app. If you guys tuned in last week, you know that we are doing something entirely different this month. This month we are doing interviews from the instructors of our new course called Search, How to Stop Watching Porn. And guess what guys, I have really great news for you today. There are two courses, one for men and one for women and pre-sales are available to Today, Come on. right now at yes. lovealwaysministries.com, we are going to give you a code. It is pre sale, sale 21. Pre sale 21. This is going to give you guys 21 bucks off the course. So instead of it being the usual 120, it's going to be 99 bucks. So head over to our website. You will only get this for the next couple weeks until the big launch on January 7th. So make sure you use this code ASAP. Also, Christmas is in a few days. So uh, if you're still looking for a gift, maybe a stock. Stuffer. We want to encourage you to buy your loved ones a call to purity. Uh, it is really blessing people's lives, helping them grow in the Lord. So this book is available on our website or on Amazon. And guys, we just want to say thank you to every single one of you who are tuning into the Let's Talk Purity podcast. Hey, make sure you go to lovealwaysministries.com to go and get the pre-order of our new course called Search. And guys, we also wish you a very Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas with your family. We love you. Thank you guys for tuning in right here on Let's Talk Purity. God bless you. Love you guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for the search. Get free from porn. I am so honored to be sitting here with none other than Brittany and Richard De La Mora. You guys are speakers. You travel the world sharing your testimony, setting people free from pornography. I am literally so blessed by y'all's union, and I'm so blessed that you are just doing this and, and, and honestly being pioneers in the faith. So thank, thank you guys. You. And an thank honor. you for being a part of it. Yes, We're I'm, blessed and honored. Oh my gosh. I am just like so grateful. <laughs> we really the am. Ashley Key. Come like on. we Stop are so it. grateful. Stop. <laughs> but no, I just, again, like I just believe the Lord knew exactly what he was doing when he put y'all together because mm -hmm. you're such a force for the kingdom. But Brittany, I wanted to start with you. For those who don't know your story, share a little bit of what God has set you free from. Yeah, so I was in the porn industry for seven years of my life. Um, got into that industry because I was just felt super rejected in life and I was looking yeah. for a place of belonging. And mm -hmm. in the beginning, that's what it felt like. It felt like a family. There were these people that were opening up their arms to me, telling me that I was beautiful and I was destined to be a star. And they were filling my ears with mm -hmm. everything that I thought that I wanted to hear because yeah. I was 
starving for affirmation because of all the verbal abuse that I experienced as a child. Mm. And so I get into the porn industry for seven years and within yeah. a month I wanted to quit. Mm. Um, I just had a series of hardships mm. and um, but pride kept me stuck in that industry because mm. pride will always keep you stuck in a season of life that you don't even want to be in. Wow. Because you're too afraid to admit that you need help and that was wow. me. So I stayed in that business for seven years. Wow. Had an encounter with Jesus at one point in my career. Mm. Um, when I had quit, got back into the business for mm -hmm. another three years, okay. um, but I had a Bible. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit began mm -hmm. to speak to me through the pages of that Bible. And yeah. one day when I was on my way to film a uh, scene mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, I was on the airplane reading my Bible, and there was a verse, Revelation chapter 2, verse 20 through 23, yeah. and that verse set me free. And wow. um, the verse says, I have a thing against you. You tolerate that woman named Jezebel. She leads my people into sexual immorality. I've given her time to repent. And mm -hmm. if she doesn't repent, I will cast her and her children into a sickbed. And everyone Whoa. that commits adultery with her or, or sexual immorality with her. Yeah. And in that moment, it was like this godly sorrow hit me. It was like... John 8, 32 says, you'll yeah. know the truth and the truth will set you free. And that's exactly what happened wow. in that moment. Yeah. I started crying and I had this heart of repentance. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, God, I'm so sorry. I had no idea that this is what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sorry for harming your heart, for harming my life, and for yeah. harming the lives of others. And yeah. I repented. The grace of God came over me that day, said if you quit yeah. the porn industry today, I would bless your life like no man ever could. Mm -hmm. I took a step of faith. That was yeah. all I had wow. was that little step of faith. Yeah. I took it, and, and God has been a man of his word, yeah. a God of his word. And, Absolutely. You know, he's blessed my life like yeah. no man ever could. Yeah, and when I look at you, I honestly see the light of Christ inside mm -hmm. of you. Thank like, you, you really do glow with his grace and his Thank mercy. You. But, Rich, I want to I wanna talk about you and your story, like yeah. kind of background in your life so when did you get, give your life to Christ I gave my life to Christ 2006 okay um, where how did you walk in purity yeah. like Brittany's story is different from yours but how has walking in purity um, transformed your life yeah well I'll never forget it I was at my uncle's house and there was this book mm -hmm. and it was talking about purity and just staying sexually pure mm -hmm. and I read this book and it really radically changed my life because mm -hmm. what she was talking about was well if you want to stay pure one of the things that I suggest you have is a vision and mm -hmm. she said in the book get out a piece of paper mm -hmm. and write down seven reasons why you want to stay sexually pure wow. and I started jotting down reasons like one of the reasons was because hey I wanted to be a man of God I wanted mm -hmm. to be authentic mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that it's not going to affect my leadership and I was just writing all of these things down yeah. and I'll never forget that day because I told God, God, if I am going to do this with you, if I'm going to walk and have this relationship with you, I want to do it right. I want mm -hmm. to give you all of my heart. So when I had that yeah. vision um, from that book and I started writing that down, I just ran with it. And, yeah. you know, I, you know, stay sexually pure for eight years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, then I met this woman. And gorgeous. he wasn't, yes. he, he was practicing real sexual purity. Yeah. Like not, no know, masturbating. No, no mas yeah. masturbating, yeah. No, no porn no. behind the scenes. Yeah. Like yeah. this guy is like, he's a role model to all yeah. men. I love it. Because love when it. I learned his story, yeah. I was a new Christian, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, Wait, what? Uh, yeah. I honestly thought all men masturbated. Yeah. Like, that's what I really thought. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. is it possible? Mm -hmm. Like, like, is that even possible, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so he is really le has led the way of purity to prove that with God all things are possible yeah. and that with God so you good. can have self-control over those mm -hmm. things. Because too often we think, well, I have needs. I have to fulfill them. Like, yeah. at least I'm not having sex before marriage, but I can still mm -hmm. masturbate or watch porn. But, but... I mean, if you if you're looking at a woman lustfully, yeah. you're, you know you're already yeah. kind of committing adultery, For even sure. if you're not married. Like you're, it's it's inappropriate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so he's led the way, and he's Aww. shown that that well, you can do it. Dude, that. thank you for that, babe. Yeah. Love you. I love that. Yeah, but yeah. not only was I, you know, saying sexually pure, but being yeah. pure in my heart. You know, I think yes. so many times there is, uh, you know, a uh, misconception of what the word purity yes. is, yes. and you know the pure. Purity is not just about virginity, you know, yep. purity is not just for singles and yeah. just for young people, but the reality is that God wants us to be pure in heart. Yes. Because what is it if we're pure externally, but we're filthy internally? Mm -hmm. And the way that we worship God is in spirit and truth. So if we're worshiping God and our spirit's nasty and our mm -hmm. spirit's filthy, I don't care, 
you know, if you're a virgin or whatever you're yeah. doing, um, it doesn't yeah. matter mm -hmm. if your heart mm -hmm. isn't pure, yeah, so right? So for me, I wanted to be the man that always did his best to keep a pure heart. Mm -hmm. And I would just keep after Jesus because purity, well, we start, well, we, we're, when we give our life to God, yeah. we've become pure. But now we yeah. need to manage our purity. Yes. And the way we yes. manage our purity is not in our works, it's not in our strength, mm -hmm. but it's the Holy Spirit allowing us to yes. give us permission, right? Yeah. To really look at these areas is in our heart so yes. um yeah and from there it just radically changed my life yeah absolutely so when did you guys meet so how long after you had come out of the porn industry did you guys meet so we actually met right away because he okay. was leading uh the young adult ministry yep. at our okay. church mm -hmm. and he was pastoring the ministry and mm -hmm. so i you know got invited and i was like i kept getting invited kept getting i'm like i'm not gonna go but the girl just wouldn't stop inviting me <laughs> so i was like all right yeah shout out to you yeah. don't stop inviting yeah. people because yeah. you never know when they might say yes and it was like the day i went it was exactly Exactly what I needed to wow. hear. Yeah. He was preaching this message, saying like, "Ladies, I have a word for you right now. If your if your man isn't treating you as a woman of God, he mm. needs to step up or step out. Show him the exit sign. Come on, because you're worthy of real, true love, and you're worth the yes. wait." Yes. And I had a guy at that time that brought me mm. to church, and we were sexually active, okay. and I was getting convicted of these yeah. things, mm -hmm. and he didn't want to stop. So I took the words that he preached mm -hmm. over all the women, yeah. and, but I took them as my own, and I told that guy, "I'm a woman of God, and I'm worth the wait. So I'm going to break up Ooh. with you." Hey, come on. Yes. You know, and I'm yes. committing my Best sexual purity. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, we um I ran into him at Starbucks like a few days later yeah. and just shared, you know, mm -hmm. how much his message had blessed me and ministered mm -hmm. to me. And yeah, so the rest is history. I just started. I love the ministry so much that I started yeah. serving in it. And we just became That's the best so awesome. of friends. And yeah, the now husband and wife. Yes. 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 And parents. Yes. 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 I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Well, how were you guys able to walk in purity? Like in your first in your dating relationship, and yeah. then still, how are you walking in purity in marriage? Yeah, for me, well, I we created boundaries. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, you'll always cross a line when a line isn't drawn. Mm -hmm. Period. So if you mm -hmm. don't have a boundary in your life, you're going to find yourself crossing lines. So. Yeah. We made sure we put boundaries in our relationships, you know. Yeah. We both uh, had roommates. We, we both never had were home yeah. alone. Uh, like, yeah. you know, not, you know, being super late at the house yeah. and yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Why? Because all those places are going to set you up for mm -hmm. temptation. Yeah. So yeah. when it came to our relationship, hey, we made sure that we were big mm -hmm. on our boundaries. Yes. And I just think another thing that really helped us is we both reminded us, mm -hmm. reminded ourselves mm -hmm. of what we wanted. Yeah. Now, we wanted a story that when we walked down the aisle, her and I could look at each other and say this, we did it right. Yeah. We honored God. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just think that is the heart of yeah. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why uh, we stayed pure and how we were able to stay sexually pure in yeah. our marriage and in our relationship. Yeah, that was a conviction for me. I wanted mm -hmm. people to see like if an ex porn star could practice purity, anybody could yeah. practice Amen. purity. That was yeah. so important to me. Yeah. We also had accountability. I remember one day I was over at his house and it was during the day mm -hmm. and um, my accountability partner happened to drive by and yeah. she calls me, how you doing? Everything okay? Yeah. I see your car out wow. there. And yeah. I'm like, thank you for checking up on me. I promise mm -hmm. we're good. Just chilling watching a movie but it was it was important to us mm -hmm. you know and we stayed accountable I continued mm -hmm. I have three women in my life at that time that would speak life over me remind me of what God had called me to yeah. do um, and every day too I would wake up and like I would speak declarations over my mm -hmm. life and one of them was I will not fall into sexual sin wow. and I remember that was easy to say when I was single but when I started dating him that was a hard one I would yeah. feel a check in my spirit yeah. it's like but I'm attracted to it, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. but no, you're not going to do that. So I mm -hmm. kept speaking it, kept speaking it until eventually it's like my spirit started to really receive those words and That's I really good. believed it. Yeah. We are not going to fall into sexual sin. Like we are mm -hmm. going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also watched tons of lust sermons. Wow. I remember one time yeah. we were holding hands and we watched uh, Robert, Robert Morris, Morris lust sermon yeah. and I was like, uh. <laughs> Don't hold my yes. hand. Like we would get yeah. so convicted. Well, we, we wanted to stay convicted. We wanted. Yeah, we that's good. Wanted that. Most couples so good. they start where they start with a conviction, but they lose their conviction yeah. during the relationship, and that's Ooh. why it's so important that yeah. you keep watching those things to mm -hmm. keep them in your spirit, to yeah. keep reminding yeah. yourself of why you had that conviction to begin with. Yeah. Because that's why so many couples fall because they forget because they yeah. fall in love, mm -hmm. get a googly eye, they want to do all that, but no, like yeah. stay convicted. Yeah, that's that's, that's the important 
important thing. You have to really stay consistent. So, well, on a, on a practical level, for those who are watching, they're like, okay, I need an accountability partner because yeah. obviously accountability is huge and walking in purity, yeah. saying no to porn, saying no to masturbation, yeah. saying no to any type of sexual temptation. Yes. How can somebody get an accountability partner? Like, how are you yeah. able to get one? Easy. I, well, man, yeah, go. Okay, yeah. Um, first I would say pray about it. Yeah. Um, and then I really believe the reason why you need to pray is this is because God's going to lead you to the right person who is yeah. going to give you that wise counsel. And not yeah. only that, you need the right person who knows your patterns. Yeah. That's good. This That's is the reason really why I good. say this. This oh is the reason goodness. why I say this. Because yeah. some of us, we're pretty sly around people. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you'll talk to a person who mm -hmm. uh, somewhat knows you, but you'll avoid the person who really, really? knows yeah. you, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, oh... I'll talk to her, but not her, because yeah. she's going to get up all because up in my yes. business. So we're like, no to that, yes mm -hmm, to that. Mm -hmm. But you need somebody yeah. who knows your patterns, right? Yeah. Who are just so full of wisdom and allowing the Holy Spirit to really work in their lives. Yes. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit uh, will start discerning things, mm -hmm. and they'll start helping you and, mm -hmm. and guiding you. And I really yeah. believe that uh, you know we need people who, to celebrate us, but we also need people who check us. Yeah. And, Check yeah, us and so check good. up on us on yeah. a daily. And I think that's what her and I had. Yeah. Uh, we had those people who mm -hmm. we gave them permission. Mm -hmm. If you see anything in my life, call it out. Yeah, that's I good. prayed that God would send me women into my life who were going to be powerful and were going to inspire me and grow me in my faith because mm -hmm. I just knew that I wanted to preach the gospel on yeah. this baby Christian not even knowing what to yeah. do. And God set me up. It was so divine. Like My roommate was in her 50s. She was an amazing wow. woman of God. Mm -hmm. She was a widow and just wow. the most amazing woman. And she just was like a spiritual mom Come to on. me. And then mm -hmm. a woman that I had met in my church and she was only in our church for a short period of time. Just enough for us to connect wow. and meet. She She's still in my life Come today. Um, and amazing. then one other woman who I just really admired her. She mm -hmm. had a beautiful marriage, yeah. beautiful family. She yeah. just purity. Like you look mm -hmm. into her eyes and she's like, oh my gosh, you <laughs> can see Jesus. Yeah. And I'm like, I need you speaking into my life. Whoa. So I just, using discernment, praying, using mm -hmm. discernment. If somebody starts speaking things over you that doesn't mm -hmm. give you peace, like don't get near that, you yeah, know, because I had people doing that to me. Absolutely. So those were the three I chose. They okay. were a woman on fire for God. They yes. had a great relationship with him. Love that. Love yeah, that. the Lord hooked me up. Yeah, definitely. Well, Britt, you were obviously a part of the porn industry. You saw what went down mm -hmm. um, in the films, what it can do to people emotionally, spiritually, physically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From your perspective, and then Rich, I'm going to get your perspective cool. on this too, what is the problem with porn? Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? Speaking from experience, these are the things that people don't see. See, oftentimes people look at porn and it's entertainment and it's pleasurable, but what they don't see is they don't see the women on set that, you know, are, are like crying because they hate what they're doing and the directors are awkwardly looking around like, do we cut the scene right now? Like, what do we do? Wow. Like, why is she crying? Do we mm -hmm. check up on her? Like, what's going yeah. on here? You know? And so they obviously end up in edits cutting those types of things out. Or mm -hmm. I've seen women with just bruises mm -hmm. all over their body. And, like, they're doing these things. Because oftentimes, like... Um, agents are very pressuring and they'll mm. pressure their girls to do mm -hmm. things because they get paid when you get paid, you wow. know? And uh, I've heard of women getting um, like, hey, if you don't do this scene, I'm going to blacklist you. You won't work again for another three months. Yes. And Stop. so it's oh like they goodness. feel this overwhelming yeah. sense of pressure to do things that they don't want to do. And these are the things you will never hear about. And they are not enjoying what they are doing. They are doing it because they know they're going to get a paycheck at yeah. the end and they have bills mm -hmm. to pay. They have drugs to mm -hmm. buy. Mm -hmm. um, like, it, you know, we yeah. have expenses. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it's like, these are the dark side of the things that you don't yeah. see in the business. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it's really sad. It's it like, I mean, I've done so many drugs with different mm -hmm. women in the industry. I have seen women pound back like entire bottles of wine and yeah. tequila just to get through just, the scene. Yeah. Because not only will porn suck the soul of the person watching, it wow. sucks the soul of the performers. Mm -hmm. Many Whoa. of those women, just a couple years ago, I, I uh, did something on... Um, prayer link CBN yeah, yeah. because there were five women that had committed suicide back to back to wow, back wow. another woman one of my dear friends just wow. died for an from an overdose yeah. 
of mm. Xanax on our living room floor. Wow. I mean, these women yeah. are struggling, not just the women, but the men. And you'll yeah, hear from jo Joshua yeah. Broom, who is mm -hmm. one of the biggest male stars in the industry, yeah. and you'll hear his story of brokenness. Yes. So it's not yeah. just isolated to women, but I was True. closer to the women, so I feel yeah. as though I can speak on Absolutely. their behalf. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about you, Rich? Uh, from What's the problem with porn? Yeah. Well, first off, porn is an excuse, so that's a wow. problem. Yeah. So my big question is, what are you running from mm -hmm. that you should be invading? Whoa. Because oftentimes when we watch porn, we're running from something. Yeah. You know, oh, I have to, um, you know, the reason why I have to watch porn is because my wife and I aren't intimate with each other. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I need to watch porn. Well, yeah. let's, let's dive in a little deeper. Why are you and your wife not sexually intimate mm -hmm. with each other? Mm -hmm. Is there offense? Is there, do you need to say sorry? Is there, un, you know, unforgiveness that's yeah. in that bedroom or Man, let's just be honest. Maybe you're not romantic, and you mm -hmm. all you want yeah. to do is wham bam. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not like, gonna fill your wife's emotional. Yeah, needs. and that's not yeah. how you know what I mean. For yeah. men, we're like a light switch. We turn on and off right away. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. for women, it's a lot different. Are you yeah. you know are you being romantic? Are you mm -hmm. uh, speaking words of edification over mm -hmm. her? So um, let's dive deeper there. Yeah. Why are you not addressing that problem? Yeah. And my big issue is with porn is just a big excuse. We're mm -hmm. running away from That's things so that God is calling us to address. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it's hurting the heart of our father. Yeah. Wow. That's a yeah. big You know, it, it's hurting yeah. the heart of our father. You know, mm -hmm. when it comes to... Uh, sex and intimacy we become one yeah. and when we do this we're honoring not only our partners but mm -hmm. we're honoring god and yeah. and i don't know about you guys but i don't want to do anything that breaks yeah. the heart of our father yeah, another problem with porn i can go on for yeah. days y'all <laughs> i know another yeah. problem with yeah. porn hey it's going to affect your anointing Ooh, it's going to affect the call that, that is on your life yes uh let's go biblical let's think about someone like samson mm -hmm. samson was flirting with with uh, uh, Delilah. Delilah. Delilah, he was yeah. he was flirting with lust, mm -hmm. messing around with lust, and it's so sad because when Delilah figured out his secret, mm. the scripture says that God left him. Yeah, not literally left him, mm -hmm. but the anointing, the anointing. left him. Yeah. at one moment he was willing to crush thousands of soldiers yeah. but at the next moment he couldn't affect not one of them mm. why because the anointing lifted mm. off of his life oh, wow. friends i never want to do something without yep. god's anointing i Come never want to touch something without god's anointing yes. because it is his anointing that breaks yokes yes. it is anointing that breaks mm -hmm. chains it's mm -hmm. his anointing that breaks bondages mm. when you mess around with pornography it affects you immensely not only that it affects yeah. your discernment yeah. Just think about Samson. Yeah. Bro, you couldn't like tell that she was trying to set you up. She kept yeah. asking, where does your secret <laughs> yeah. lie? Mm -hmm. See, if the enemy can take away your discernment, then you won't be able to see things clearly. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, And when we walk in huge. purity, we see things clearly. So yeah. true. And I think more than ever, the enemy wants us to not be able to see things mm -hmm. clearly because when you don't see things clearly, you don't know what God is in. Yeah. You don't even know what God is saying. You will tell yourself, is this what yeah. God said or this is what I think God mm -hmm. said? Mm -hmm. So what is it? Is it what he said or is, this, is it what you think he said? The reality is that the enemy can cause confusion in your life. He'll eventually destroy your life. So, so I could go on for days, yeah. and that's the reason why we wrote this porn yeah. course. So that's yeah. why I'm like, y'all better get into it yeah. because we are diving into yes. these issues yes, that are. are really going to help people and really get to the heart of it because honestly, mm -hmm. porn is just the fruit. Hurt is the root. Mm -hmm. What is the deeper issue that you need to dive into your heart where yes. God needs to take a hold of that area and yeah. heal you? Yeah. And the beautiful okay. thing is that, guys, if you're watching here today, mm -hmm. know that God loves you. He's for you. He's not against you. Romans 8 Come 1 on. said that there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. He will meet you right where you're at, and he wants to heal and deliver you. Amen. But that just you takes you just opening up and mm -hmm. confessing and saying, yo, I need help here. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Last question. Cool. Britt, Rich, what is your prayer and what is your hope for this course? My prayer and hope for this course is that we actually go on a search in our heart. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my favorite verses in the scriptures is Psalm 26 too. It mm -hmm. says, test me and try me, Lord. Examine my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem with pornography is we don't do a lot of examining, but we do a lot of looking. Yes, so true. We're so good at searching and looking at yeah. women, searching and looking at men. Mm -hmm. But when's the last time you searched and you looked at yourself? Ooh, when's the last time you got a mirror and you looked at your own face and asked yourself this question, 
how am I doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 am I living to my fullest potential? Yeah. Is my heart pure? Is my heart right? Mm -hmm. In this course, we want to help you not just to get delivered, but we want to help you to get set yes, free. Yes, freedom. A lot of yeah. people get set free, but they run back to bondage mm -hmm. in our course. Hey, we want you to be a living testimony where yes. God will get the glory. Well, God will help you to set uh, uh, for help you to set your lives free so you can help other people who yes. are in bondage. Mm -hmm. And that's my prayer. That's our heart behind it. And yeah. I don't know about you. Yeah, that. I mean, we're in alignment. Like my prayer, I mean, mm -hmm. we prayed over everybody who we brought into yeah. this course. Mm -hmm. Like we really feel like God has brought people that are just so thick with the anointing mm -hmm. who have mm -hmm. gone through things. I mean, mm -hmm. we have Yom Alexis who had a porn addiction for, I believe, 16 mm -hmm. years. Yeah. We have Joshua Broom who was in the porn industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was in the porn industry. You, you've you practiced purity yeah. after seeing porn and having yeah. sexual relations yeah. for eight years. You practiced purity. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like we are not just people who are out here that have had no yeah, experience yeah, exactly. with this business. Yes. We have experience with this industry. Mm -hmm. We have experience with the struggle. We know what you are going through. Yeah. And my prayer for you is that as you watch this course, that you really truly dive yes. in. And I'm believing that the anointing is going to be mm -hmm. so thick that you are going to feel yeah. the presence of God through your computer, your yes. phone, however yeah. you're going to be watching this right. course. And that it's not just going to encourage you mm -hmm. and inspire you, but it is radically going to change the course yes. of your yeah. life. It is going to radically transform you and God is going to set you free from mm -hmm. pornography. And so mm -hmm. we're going to give you all the tools. We're going to give you everything that you need to overcome porn so that you can mm -hmm. stop searching and you can start living. And we're so Ooh. excited yes. Yes. for you to take on this course. Yes. Oh my gosh. Y'all, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for your heart. Thank you for your obedience and your yes. faithfulness to setting the captives free. Love you both. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Hey guys, welcome to the search course as we are going to help you to get set free from porn because friends, it's time that we stop searching and we start living. How did I get into the porn industry? Why did I say yes? was destroying my life. I was battling with drug addiction and suicidal thoughts on a daily basis. You are going to start to break the shame off of your life. We are here to help people stop searching and to start living and walking in purity and freedom. So I pray as you dive into these lessons that God is going to minister and speak to you in a mighty way. I know that if you will apply these teachings to your life, you will get set free from porn so that you can stop searching and you can start living.